Hi, we're going to have a go today at um, using this potato to make a print block. Um, so I just have a regular potato, uncooked, and a kitchen knife, my favourite kitchen knife. So anybody can do this, adults or children who are confident with a knife. Um, and all I want to do is start by cutting my potato in half and making two portions. Give it a dab to get rid of the starch and then I'm gonna draw around it and make my design. So I think for a nice simple start, if we, oop, I've forgotten an essential part. This is why it's good to do it on a page put first so you can work out your design. I've got a little beak, a head, and I'm going to try and get a tail in there and see if I can make a little bird. And then I could give it an eye and a wing. So that's going to be my design for today. So take my potato, look at the design, and I'm going to start with the beak, which is about here. So I'm cutting from above. The trickiest part is seeing where you've gone. So if I take this and when I've gone from above, then I come in at right angles from the side and I can take out little pieces. So I've got took out this piece here. Now I'm going to try and get this line here. So I'm going to come around the top of the head down the back, try and maneuver my, my knife round and go up to make a tail. Once I've cut from above and change the position of my hands and come in from the side. This knife has got a point on the end which helps me go close to my line. So I've taken out that piece. Now I think I'm going to turn it upside down. I'll start here under the beak and then come from under here to cut this part of the chest. Take that piece away and I just need to straighten this to have a kind of tail effect. So there's my bird. To make the eye I'm going to use the point just to make a small circle. And to get this shape of the wing, I'll do one line and then another close by and just pop a little bit of the potato out. So there we have the bird. Now I'm going to take some paint. I think I'm going to make this little fella a robin with a red breast. So if I take some red paint and paint it here, give him a red breast, wash my brush, give him a yellow beak, which is not going to show on my page because I've got yellow paper, <laughs> and we'll give brown on the body. Okay, 
if you had a small child and you didn't want to paint it on, you could use the saucer, put paint in the saucer and just go straight in there. So there's the robin. Let's see how our first print comes out. So I'm going to print one, push from above and lift it. Not too bad. I'll print another. Push hard. So I'm getting a little bit not coming out there, but I'm quite happy with that. I can take my brush and perhaps give him a black eye. So there's a little robin. Once I've got a robin one way, I can use this design to carve a similar bird in this side and then I'd be able to print another bird flying the other way, a mirror image. So that's probably enough for now and probably on my time.